This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now at my home, and behind me here you see Tesla Model 3 Stand Range Plus LFP battery from China. And in this video, I'm going to try to see what happens if you are super clumsy, you don't do what you're supposed to do, um, maybe you just got the car and you're using it like a fossil. So, it is cold outside. It's two degrees Celsius. It might even get colder. I will just show you, just to give you an idea of, yeah, that's uh, frost. So already the cars are getting frosty over here. We have fairly clear sky, moonlight. Um, yeah, hopefully, oh, focus. Shit, there, there. Hopefully, it's going to be quite cold tonight. Uh, like around zero. So I was thinking about going to Yale, but I don't think I need to go to Yale even. We could just do it here. I have a little trick now. So I've been driving the Muskus Yule <laughs> down low. So let me, go, let me show you here now what the heck is going on. So if I just turn down the HVAC, right, to more normal temperatures, uh, you will see here, we are trying to uh, purposely cool down the battery. Here you see a battery inlet. We are, I managed to cool down the battery to 12 degrees. And I'm going to also camp here. I mean, park it in front of the house until tomorrow morning. But I'm going to do whatever I can do now to cool it down. And you see, battery inlet now rises because we turn off the... Well, we... Yeah, we, we turn down the 8 rack a little bit. So the trick I found out is... is because we, because the system will scavenge heat from the battery, pull heat from the battery to help save energy and heat up the cabin, we can then put it on high um, and then open the window. Otherwise, it's going to be freaking cold here. I mean, we can warm here. And then you see here, <laughs> inlet drops, and we're now cooling down the battery. I want to get the battery as cold as possible, pro pos possibly close to ambient temperature is one degree Celsius now. Maybe it hits zero or minus degrees tonight. So you see, yes, this is working. And I think to make things even worse, we will also activate the rear vents. Yeah, I can hear it's now heat going into the rear vents. And you see now, <laughs> three degrees. Yeah, this is, this is great. You see, it was 12 degrees, it's already 11.8. It's cooling down like a boss. It's 10.30 in the morning now, so the car has been soaked up, uh, soaked overnight in, I think it was around zero degrees. So, you can see how frosty the windows are right now. So, of course, not ideal. We want to have minus 10, even minus 20, but I think this is good enough because the battery actually takes a lot of time to cool down. And normally, depending on how long you, you park at least, uh, it might, might not be that cold even after one night, but we purposely try to make it as cold as possible. Let me see, I want to see them numbers. Oh yeah, wait. 3.5 degrees, that's perfect. You see, it's not even at zero degrees or so one degree. So this is good enough. We supposedly have 156 kilowatt power limit. Oh, really? What about... Uh, uh, yeah, it's quite cold. Let's go for a spin. We have region. I'm not touching the brakes right now. Okay. Wow, so we have region even at these low temperatures. Hmm. You know, because the reason why I'm, I'm testing this is because lots of people were complaining last winter about bad performance on LFP batteries. Uh, so lots of people requested me to test it. Uh, I just wonder if Tesla changed the BMS once they figure out that hey, the, the battery can actually take it, no problem. But it might not be that optimal, but... I have... Uh, well, I have power. <laughs> I have quite normal behavior on the car. I was thinking, oh, maybe it will be super sluggish. Apparently not, even with 12% battery and cold battery. It's still perform. It's still outperforming many fossil cars. Let's just try now. Okay, let me just try to floor it if you have traction. 
that we have plenty of power. <laughs> this is no no slow poke, huh? Man, is this video even going to be interesting? Because I was hoping for some limb mode, face palm, and everything at once. Uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, go over to the fast charger. Are right, we charging now? Huh? Getting 20 kilowatt? What? Wait, 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 what happens? Okay, let's check out here. This is more useful. Maybe harder for you to read, but here you see uh, current. Here you see battery power. Yeah, okay, of course. It initially jumps up and then it drops. That's always what happens. Yeah, with tw over 20 kilowatt. Uh, but uh, many, like the Korean cars. I remember the uh, EV6, when it came with about the same temperature in the battery, uh, roughly like this, uh, it received 50 kilowatt <laughs> at low state of charge, around 10%, 8% it was. So just to put the things in perspective, uh, we have a disadvantage that we don't have any cobalt in the battery. So at least this battery is politically correct. 15 kilowatt only, but you see here, our power, it's then using the stator to heat up the battery. Uh, cell temp mid is five degrees already. We have to heat it up now quickly. So let's wait for a bit, little bit and see what happens with the temperature because I think this one will go up really slow. So here we see, these used to be regular uh, parking charging spots, but then recently they changed it to be high power chargers. BKK, one, two, these are Delta chargers. Uh, we have three on that side and one more on this side. So it's actually good that uh, other cars don't block them. I guess it helps to have these signs here. So, uh, but I want to check out. So we are receiving around 15 kilowatts, but just to show you here that the charger is actually delivering 19 kilowatt. And that means that the remaining power, the five kilowatt goes into heating the car and heating up the battery. Oh, let's go inside. It's nice and warm in here. Yeah, oh shit, only 13 kilowatt now. Oh. We've been charging with 10 minutes and you see that the charging curve here is quite flat. Maybe a slight uphill, but uh, okay. So what the heck is going on? Why am I not charging faster? Uh, it's been 10 minutes. Many of, for example, like I keep mentioning, um, the, the EV6, the Kia EV6 would ramp up after just five minutes, or especially after 10 minutes, it would go faster. But what, what happens here? Why does this? So let me explain here. So you see, yeah, it goes slowly up now a little bit, but, and also the temperature is rising, but it takes a little while for, for the stators to heat up, for everything to build up heat. And you see that the inlet is 25 degrees, so it's a lot higher than the battery. It's trying to heat it up actively, but the, the charging speed that, or the, I mean, the maximum charging power that the battery can take is dictated by battery temperature, actually min and max temperature, and also state of charge. The higher state of charge, the less power you can get. So actually, if we would arrive here with 50%, for example, we'll probably not get 13 kilowatt. We might get two kilowatt only. Um, but of course, if we arrive here with, uh, and but, but if the, the temperature is higher, then you can have higher power. So uh, if we, we had 20 degrees, for example, I'm not sure exactly how it, how it is but let's say we had 20 degrees here with 16 percent we will probably get uh, 30 40 kilowatt uh, but then this also is a parallel so but if you have 20 degrees and then 90 percent then we might not get more than uh, 10 20 kilowatt so the para parameter okay and then also the last thing is that but it's usually not a problem with tesla if the temperature is too high again then you will also be limited about how fast you can charge Okay, I stopped charging now. It's 16.5%. And uh, we can, if we click here, you see that we have 68 kilometers of range. So this is actually plenty. I have to do some errands. I have to go downtown. Uh, and that uh, roughly here, okay, should, let me see. Uh, nearby there is enough. But um, let me check here that, yeah, you see, even now the car estimates 13%. So I only need 3% to get there. And then another 3, 4% to get back here. So I'm already good, but I just want to show you now in the case of how can you recover from this in case you want to travel far or something because sitting here uh, you will not uh, it will go slow but let me show you how you can do it hopefully it will it will there 
preconditioning battery for fast charging. So now we will actively heat up the battery. We will start driving downtown. I'm not sure if I will go there or yeah. And then I'll we'll see what happens now. Well, this is not too bad. So after all, I have 61 kilometer range. Plenty of powers. I have the range of an old leaf. Yeah, it still goes fast. Oh, but I don't know if you notice here. You see here, we are taking 49 kilowatt region. But how the heck is that possible? Because we could only charge at 12, 13 kilowatt. Well, this is just burst power. So the car will allow you to have higher burst power, burst rates. But of course, for continuous power, it has to be lower. And that's probably why we were receiving 20 kilowatt initially. And then it dropped and dropped and dropped because you kind of, after a minute, you, uh, you, you, you fill up or you take up, you use up the, 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 the quota, you can say it like that. But here, every time I do this and I regen, we are just regening for a couple of seconds. And that's why it allows higher burst rates. That's just how uh, batteries work in general. We're now at Circle K Arbitzer. And oh, now we're cooking. Yeah, so you see, huh, really? I was expecting 50 kilowatt. Okay, now it drops. Yeah, it's that initial uh, jolt of uh, energy, <laughs> of actually of power. But um, you see, we've been. I actually went downtown, and then the fast charger over there was not available as so I came here. But you see, I have 25 degrees in the pack now, and low state of charge. Like I mentioned, when you have low state of charge, you in general you have higher power. So in case of this, what you want to do is actually drive a little bit like I did to, let's say, drive a little bit towards your destination where you're supposed to go. And then if you have the opportunity, charge over there. And then this will happen because when we now have high power into the battery, we will also heat up the battery faster. So this is uh, great. Let's see now how long it takes to, uh, yeah, let's see. Just uh, wait a bit. So see at the first starting session at the BKK charger, after 12 minutes, we only received 3.75 kilowatts. But here, after just four minutes, we already have yeah, 5.5 kilowatts. So this is going way faster. So this is pro tip for you. There's always a Tesla supercharger nearby. Navigate to the supercharger, battery will heat up, you arrive, and then you charge way faster. We are now in the catacombs of Oslo. <laughs> now this is uh, uh, Akershus fastening. It used to be I think it was a bomb shelter, but uh, yeah, I don't remember what the history behind this was, but now it is parking spots, a parking house for EVs. So it's, it's old, ancient, but it's been rebuilt now to have lots of type two. You guys might've seen this video many, many years before. So I parked here, charging up only on three kilowatt, but that's fine because I'll be busy now for the next four hours. I have to visit enough and test actually charging stations. Um, so, that's, this is what you should do. A, B, C, always be charging. So the situation I show you this morning is, um, is almost like a, a corner case, a constructed case. What I should have done the day before was to top up a little bit or plug it in. So it's not that hard really, but I just show you worst case scenario with the LFP, what could happen. And then I was quite surprised that the power output for driving was not that bad. It didn't go into limp mode, even with cold battery. And then after driving a little while, you could actually receive 70, 80 kilowatts sustain that speed. So yeah, I think that's it. Much good bill and much good yule for the win. <laughs> that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.